and a former teammate of Fernando, who was often on the receiving end of the legendary screwball. And on June 30th, 1990, the battery mate during that no-hitter. He played 13 years for the Dodgers and went on to lead the Anaheim Angels to their only World Series title. Please welcome back to Dodger Stadium where he belongs, Mike Sosha. <laughs> Thank you, Alana. I want to tell you what a great privilege it is for me to be here, to be part of a ceremony for one of the best pitchers ever to put on a Dodger uniform. But more importantly than that, one of the best people ever to put on a Dodger uniform and go out here on the mound and compete. Fernando came up in 1980. He didn't pitch much. In 1981, he started opening day because of an injury to Jerry Royce and shut out a team that we had lost to, knocked us out of the playoffs in 1980. And right then you knew there was something special about Fernando. Everybody could see his great stuff. I never caught anyone that could do more with a baseball than Fernando. And we, as a Dodger catchers, were told we're gonna to catch a cream of the crop. And we did coming through the system. Guys like Don Sutton, uh, Oral Hershiser, Bobby Welch, Jerry Royce, Ramon Martinez, I can go on and on, and now Clayton Kershaw. Dodgers have the cream of the crop of pitching. So everyone could see Fernando's natural talent, what he could do with a baseball. What you couldn't see was his heart. Fernando would go out in the mound, fearless, make pitches on any count to any hitter, with a confidence that you just don't see in many players. The one thing about Fernando was he was always accountable, and he is always accountable. If he would lose a game, he didn't point fingers. He didn't say, oh, the umpire made a mistake. Um, he, took, he took all the issues that might come with, with losing a ball game, and he moved on, and that's important to all of us, and that's why he was a great leader. Fernando, I was going to say a couple things in Spanish, but you always told me my Spanish was crappy. So I'm just going to say, Fernando, mucho gracias por todo. God bless you and Linda and your family. This is an honor well deserved. God bless you.